Hey guys, Sherelle here from Planner with a Praise. If this is your first time visiting my channel, then thank you so much for stopping by. If you've been here before, then welcome back. And I invite each and every one of you to become a part of the Praise Team. Truth is, if you do that, you'd really be helping me meet my goal of having 500 subscribers by December 31st. So if in this video, there's anything that you find interesting, useful, creative, I ask that you go ahead and give my channel a chance by subscribing. And as you guys know, subscribing to any channel is absolutely free. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button provided to you by YouTube. Also too, I ask that you please go ahead and like this video if there's anything that you see that is useful, creative, or interesting. In today's video, my friends, I am doing a plan with me in my big happy planner teacher edition for the week of November 8th. So you guys, before I begin, I want to show you some of the things that I pulled out to help me with this spread. I am using two rolls of washi tape. Oh, here's something else in here. Oh no, forget it, I take that back. I'll also be using these bulletin strips here. I also pulled out my Capital Chic Design monthly stickers right here. My Happy Planner Memory Keeping Dates and Holidays sticker book. And lastly, I'll be using this sticker sheet from the Paper Studio sold at Hobby Lobby. So my friends, I do need to just bring you up to date if you don't know already that this big happy planner is a teacher edition and because of that each week I have to modify the week at a glance pages so that they are able to suit my needs. So the teacher edition when happy planner structured it they purposely omitted the weekends and it makes sense because in most cases schools do not run a weekend schedule where the students need to be there. So it makes sense that they would omit the weekends from the week at a glance. However, I do need them. And so I will be modifying this spread so that I am able to add on my weekends. So to begin, I'm going to start by pulling out my monthly stickers and adding weekday headers. The other thing that I noticed in recent spreads that I was doing is that this November header right here is very, very hard to see. And so I am using this month header to cover what's already there. And there you go. So now I'm sure that is showing up a lot more clearer. So now I'm going to pull out the weekday headers and I see here that in the sidebar, the eighth starts on a Monday and I'm going to keep it that way so that my two weekends are together here on the far right. So because the month header kind of went into this area right here in this column, I'm going to be putting my weekday headers in the very first line going across instead of putting them at the top. I'm bringing in my handy dandy X-Acto knife to kind of help me center these headers on the page. Okay, so I got my weekday headers down. Now we need to put some dates up here. So let's make that happen. And I am pulling out my date and holiday sticker book for this part. And let me show you the cute stickers that I'm going to be using. Look, they're like wreaths. See? That's adorable, right? Don't you think so? So I will be putting them up here. Mm -hmm. 
Now, I am a little upset that this date covers the R in November, but at this point, there's really nothing I can do about it, or should I say nothing that I want to do about it. I can be a little bit more creative and fix that, but I'm going to work with it for now, and if it just becomes an eyesore for me during the completion of this spread, or even during the week, I will go ahead and modify it at that time. Okay guys, I got my dates and weekdays and my month all down at this point and I do know that I have some dates and days here on the far left, but that eventually will change. I'm now bringing in these bulletin strips right here. Looks like I never used them, but guess what? I'm using them today, and I'm going to start applying them across the top here. I'm not gonna go all the way to the top. I'll probably drop down a couple of lines and make my way across. So let's do that. And I'm going to just kind of pull out the strips and whatever color shows up is the color I'm going to use. Also, let me just show you at the very top of this strip, it says top five. And I'm going to just drop down, like I said, uh, one or two lines let's see I think I like dropping down two lines yep so drop down and apply the sticker and once I add this last sticker I'm going to turn my pages right side up so we can see what's going on. Okay, let's see what we have here. All right, there you go. So I am liking it. And what I do notice is that all of these do not say top five. So these two say top five. The yellow strips say to do. This one and this one says top five, but this one right here on Thursday says tasks. All right, so I just wanted to bring that to your attention because initially I thought they all said top five, but they don't. So I happened to find this to-do colorful box, and I think what I want to do is apply it right here to the sidebar and I want it to cover up Tuesday and Wednesday. Now I may have to add some white out to accomplish that, let's see. Oh no, actually it did just what I needed it to do. It covered Tuesday and Wednesday, both the header and the date. Yay, love it when things work out but I'm not happy with this to-do header here. So we are going to make that disappear by adding some of the stickers from the Paper Studio sticker sheet. Okay, so I'm thinking I want to use this Be Kind sticker right here but I am gonna have to pull out my handy dandy whiteout because these are clear stickers and I can almost guarantee that if I don't white this out, that wording is going to show through. I don't know if you guys can hear chirping, but my bird that is downstairs is chirping his little head off. <laughs> and it is so loud. So if you hear it, I'm gonna just go ahead and apologize right now. <laughs> Let's see. Yes, okay, I like that. And I also want to use this really, really cute jar right here. 
And it's just a simple bouquet, but it is so cute. And I'm going to apply that right here. Guys, I kid you not, I, I, I hope you don't hear my bird. His name is Rocco, and Rocco is making all kind of noise right now. <laughs> all right, guys, so I have my first set of stickers here in the sidebar, and this helps me remove the dates here. Um, I'm going to have to just kind of do it during the process of decorating these pages because I really didn't have anything specifically in mind while I was getting my stickers together. All I knew for sure was that I did have to do something with the sidebar to remove the dates. So I think what I want to do now is I want to begin to work on this bottom corner right here. And I think what I want to do is use this other jar Let's see. put that to the side and yes I'm going to use this jar right here but because it looks lost without having anything additional in this area I'm going to have to find something to help make this pop off the page and I think I found the perfect thing. I think there's like, uh, yep, I think there's dogs in here. I hope I didn't use all of them. Hold on. But I thought it would be cute because this jar has like a farmhouse feel. So, yeah, see, yeah, there they are, there they are. Okay. Yes, okay. Oh, I like this one right here. Look at this pooch. But I also like this one. Oh man, see what happens. I'm gonna go with this one right here. I mean, these ones are really, really cute too. And I actually like this one laying down. Can you see that? But I am going to play it safe and go with this dog right here. There you go. And I'm going to see if there are any quotes that may be useful that I can put right here. And I didn't intend to pull from this book. I just happened to have it on my table from, I guess, another spread. And I'm like, you know what? Let me see what I could find. So I found something, you know. Now to bring in my skinny washi tape. And it is a metallic green. I don't know how much of the color shows up, but it is more of like a lime green than it is a gold. And I selected that on purpose to see if I'm able to pull out some color from these stickers. Okay, so the metallic skinny tape, I'm using it as a border to this washi tape right here. And let me just pull it out so that you could see it. It's a very pretty floral pattern and it complements this sticker sheet so well. So I'm going to be putting this down across the two pages as well, however, because I have this floral bouquet right here, I don't want this to be so close. So I'm gonna start placing this washi tape right here. All right, so let's see what it's looking like. I am really liking how this spread is coming out. Here is a quote on the sticker sheet and it says, be positive, gracious, thankful, creative, happy, cheerful. And I'm pulling this quote up and I'm going to apply it to the sidebar, but I first have to cover what's going on down here.
I'll tell you guys, thank God for extra sticker books when you need it because I don't have enough functional sticker boxes to complete this spread in the sticker books that I chose. But I have sticker books that are kind of just lingering in this area and those are the ones that are helping me <laughs> with this spread. So here, I'm going to place this on Friday. And where's my handy dandy whiteout? It's right here. I'm going to get rid of this header and I'm going to add a decorative sticker right here. And that sticker is coming from this sticker sheet. And I like this one that says, laugh until it hurts. Okay. Yes, I am loving it. Let me keep this colorful story book out because I think that I need another colorful box right here, something functional. Maybe I could use this and layer it. Let me show you, can you see this? This turquoise color would be really nice if I could find another sticker box and layer the two together. Let me see. I found this pink colorful box and I'm going to layer it with the turquoise box. Let me see if I can find it. Here it is. Okay. And I think once I apply these, I may very well be done. And remember I was telling you about adding a quote here. With this sticker, I don't even feel like it's necessary anymore. So here I go and I am applying this sticker right here. Let me move it over just a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to layer it with this today's sticker. I'm actually gonna layer it to the side. Okay, and then lastly, I will pull, hold on, one more of these beautiful stickers from here. Let me get that white backing so that we can see what's going on or so that you can see. I'm going to add one more of these stickers and then call it a day. Before I add the sticker, I have to go ahead and get rid of that today header. And guess what? I don't like any of these stickers for that spot. So what I'm gonna do is, here I go again with the colorful story box. I saw a few round stickers that would go perfectly right there. Here's something that says, work hard and be nice. That would work there. Life is lovely. So there's, there's a few. Here's just a simple big heart. You know what I'm gonna use? I'm going to use this black So So Good sticker. Let me show you, hold on. Right there. And I'm going to apply it right here. And then I'm taking my black uh, marker and I'm just going to make a few dots going around it just to accent that circle. There you go. So I'm liking that, but I think I fooled myself with saying I don't need anything here. Just kind of feel like I do. It just, I don't know. Think, think, think. I'm gonna stay with things the way they are. Let me get my planner and put these pages back on the disc and then we'll be done. All right, my friends, and so this is what my spread is looking like for November 8th through the 14th. I have plenty writing space and that always makes me very happy. I'm looking at this spread and guess what? I still have some dates that are visible, so I can't end right here. 
I need to pull out my handy dandy whiteout and get rid of that. Okay, now let's go ahead and take a look at the finished product. <laughs> okay, there we go. This is what it's looking like. And now I can say I am happy. Guys, if you enjoyed this plan with me, please give it a thumbs up. Also be reminded that I am certainly trying hard to reach my 500 subscriber goal by the end of December 31st. So if there was anything that you saw that was useful, interesting, or creative, please consider giving my channel a chance and hit that free subscribe button. Guys, this is Sherelle from Planet with a Praise saying peace and blessings.